Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So, I'm going to give you a forewarning. If I don't seem 100% sharp, I came back from my friend's birthday party. Had a lot of wine. We had a lot of wine. We went to a winery. We did tastings. Had a lot of wine. It was great. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> but I want to film a haul because I thought it looked cute. Let's get into the look. I did film a Get Ready With Me, but the blue and pink vibes as well as the little pearls. I did some things. So I'm very, very happy with it. Let me take a sip of water. Okay. So this haul is coming from my local beauty supply store. Um, I got a couple things from TJ Maxx, Ulta, Sephora, and the Dollar Tree. It is beauty, makeup, and we're gonna get into it. Some of the things I haven't even put in my inventory, but I wanted to share them with you. I wanted to do it. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's start with TJ Maxx because these are at the forefront. Um, I just picked up, I want to Dermaplane shave my face. I want to try that. Um, so I got some beauty razors there. Oh my God. If you go in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those kind of stores, things like this, like razors, like body care things, they're so plentiful. They're so plentiful there. And so I didn't know which ones to pick. I've never done it before. Um, you can use like they have multi-packs of like eyebrow razors and things like that with these and like the dermaplaning stuff like it, I didn't see a pack less than eight excuse me so there's so many to choose from I don't know if like you should not use the same razor more than once when it comes to things like this again don't know but I do want to try it because I do have fuzz um so I just picked these up these were $4.99 um and yeah I don't know what might be the best for this but we got them. We got them. And the next thing from TJ Maxx. So I needed some more serums. I ran out of that I didn't have backups for. My niacinamide serum. And my daily brightening serum. Um, actually one of these. One of these I did open. I did open and it's in the fr mini fridge. But I don't have another backup of it. So anyway. I went to Ulta to get them. Uh, I went to Ulta to get them, and you'll see those in the haul. But looking in, um, and I love Good Molecules, but looking in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and everything, um, I do those kind of stores, look for them. Like, look, you know, because you probably could get more for your money. And even though the Good Molecules is very um, reasonably priced, they're 6 and $8, I think. Um, but, yeah, I'm always looking. And I found this. This is the Nourish Hyaluronic Acid. Ooh about my light facial and body serum and it says brings moisture to the skin to leave it smooth and nourish this was three dollars and 99 cents let me look at the ingredients it's not tested on animals um water glycerin hyaluronic you know blah 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 um i got it because this is a big glass bottle and <laughs> i use hyaluronic acid but I got it because I've never seen a dropper bottle this large. I've never seen a dropper this. I'm be honest. That was that was a selling point. I was like, oh, I was looking at serums and like, oh, can I use these? Also, um, with that though, if you find one you like, you might not find it again. So that's also something where like I stick with what I know. But I'm always open to looking. And something big enough like this, like it's you're gonna you're gonna have it for a while. So yeah. Um, but look how. <laughs> Look how big this I've never seen a dropper that huge. And that was oh, it smells so good. It smells clean and fresh. It definitely gives like if this was a, a candle, it's in that linen cotton kind of scent. It smells wonderful. It smells like a it doesn't smell like laundry detergent, but it smells like a dryer, like freshly dried clothes, like a laundry. Oh, it smells it smells wonderful. Um, so I picked that up from TJ Maxx and we'll see how it goes. Let's do the beauty store stuff because this stuff is in my inventory so I can keep this in a separate basket. I got a bunch of lip products and a few face products. Let's go through the face products first. So Kiss New York. Um, Kiss New York has these blush, has these wands. Okay, we don't even need to talk about what I wouldn't say they're duping them but what they're inspired by um I got two of the blush wands and I got one of the highlighter wands let me pull out a wipe so I can um just make sure I have it here for swatches um these are what they look like they are called oh my gosh 
blush pearl wand or highlight pearl wand respectively and the two blush shades that I picked up in the tubes are reflective of what their color is I just watched them in store this is Do Daring Dahlia and these were $5.99 at my local beauty supply store I was super excited to see them so you open them up and they do have a turn like the Tarte ones they have, I don't know if the Charlotte Tilbury ones have it, I haven't tried those. But they have like a turn to open, and you have Dahlia, let's swatch it, let me, ooh, that's way too much, way too much. These appear deeper than they are, um, so that's Dahlia. Well, I'm loving the sun, but it is, it is, it is playing a main character today. <laughs> uh, let's wipe it off a little, because I just... That's Dahlia. Let's close that. And then we have uh, the deeper of the two. This is pretty good. This is definitely pretty good. And then the deeper of the two is called Alluring. Oh my gosh. Alloom? Alloom? Alluring Alloom? Hmm. Alright, and I'm going to open that and squeeze a smidge, much less than I did before. And this is a plum. They don't have any shimmer or glitter. These are definitely just blush wands. Uh, so that's what that looks like. You see that? There we go. Block out the sun a little bit. <laughs> Block out the sun a little bit. And then we have a highlighter wand. They have plenty of shades. I want to say they had at least 10 shades of each. And the highlighter, well, no, not of each, but total. Because um, I think the highlighter ones were in the same row. The highlighter ones, they may have had four different ones, three or four different ones. And the blush, they had like seven different ones. So, this highlight is called Mary Marigold. I think this was the deepest blush. I mean, deepest highlight. And that's what it looks like. $5.99 for these. I'm so excited to see them, see these type of like mainstream, popular type of products in probably the most affordable where you're going to find them. Because like this looks like about the same size as the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know how much for sure is in there. You know, the Charlotte Tilbury ones are close to $40. But these, oh, these are $5.99 and you're getting just as much. So let's hope that they are just as good. I don't know. I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but I have tried the Tarte ones and the Elf ones. So, yeah. I have. Okay. Let me wipe that off. Then we have some lip products. So exciting. Um, let's do these lip oils. This is Nika K. She has these Glam lip oils. They have sparkle in them. Let me show you the tube here. Um, plenty of shades. These are $3.99. This is shade 5. Let me see. Really so you can see that. Uh, big doe foot. I've worn this one already. I think I've worn it in a video. It has some sparkle to it. It definitely has some like a little bit of glitter. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. It is a thicker consistency. Um, it sticks to your lips. Which it's not a bad thing. And then for, I got similar shades in both of them because I, if I'm trying something, I kind of go to what I like. This is the, uh, who is this? Absolute New York, the Glassy Pout Lip Oil. And you can look at this in the tube because it has the same similar sparkle situation. The doe foots are very similar. These are very similar shades. I will say... Uh, this one, the Absolute New York, is a little bit more yellow. This shade is called, does this have a name or a number? That one was shade 05 from Nika K. From Absolute New York, this is called Moody. Um, and you can kind of see this one's definitely a little bit yellower. This is uh, Moody. A little bit yellower, but they both have a good sparkle to them. They're thick. They feel more like a lip gloss. Not as shiny as a straight on lip gloss, so... I still, to be honest, I love trying them, but I still don't get, like, why lip oils are this new thing and they need to be special. I don't Anyway. <laughs> then we have three of the other popular type of lip products going around. Um, the, well, 
two. I got two shades of wand. So two different types. Uh, let's do this like twist up balm because this is pretty interesting. Most of the popular like tinted lip balm type of products, the balmy type of products are in that click up, hit the button. We'll get to that. But this one is by Absolute New York and this is their Glassy Dew Tinted Lip Balm their glassy dew tinted lip balm and this one is a twist up but it is that same like you can't twist it down um so what you get is a pen what you see is what you get these are $5.99 which I still think is high for beauty supply makeup it's all relative uh this is the shade coconut they had probably about 12 shades of this love it so I'm gonna twist this up oh I, that was way too much way too much but that's coconut. Okay, I'm gonna clean that off. So it's the same thing, a click, a twist, but it's the same type of pen, same shape, same angled style. You give gives you control. Definitely can't twist it back down. It's that same concept. It's just instead of a clicking pen, it's a twisting mechanism. Skinny pencil, skinny type of vibe. These are so convenient for your purse and things like that. Um, this one's super shiny. It is called Glassy Dew. It is super shiny. Two words that indicate a lot of shine. So, just so you know. Okay? And then I got two of the, uh, I'm sorry, not Absolute, Kiss New York. What are these called? Melting Jelly Lip Balm. And I got two shades of this. These are a click up pen style. And a gold tube. Love the packaging because we love gold. So this first shade is called... Grape. It's more of a mauve to me. Don't think you're getting plum. I'm going to click up grape a little bit. Definitely a soft mauve pink. These are, I don't know if because it's hot by the window, but these are far more liquidy. That's grape. Right there. Okay. And then the next color, we got more of a nude shade. This one is called, I think, yes, chocolate. This is called chocolate. Let me get a little bit up. I will say with most of these pens that I have found, um, almost all of them, I think, one click doesn't do it. Like, I don't know how, like, the click to product ratio could be a little bit smaller, I guess, because like I am clicking like five times just to get a fraction of a millimeter of product, but that's chocolate. So that's what you have there. Really nice. Okay. Now I only have one product from the Dollar Tree. I did get two shades. I need to put this in my inventory, but I wanted to share it. I found the Maybelline Clean, what is it called? Let me open it up. I found the Maybelline, ooh, Green Line. I've seen the like, was it lipsticks? I've seen those for a while. Haven't seen the serum. Now Maybelline has a full on foundation serum, um, skin tint kind of thing that they put out. And then this came like not long after, but this is the Maybelline Green Condition, Green Edition, I'm sorry vegan cruelty free kind of like that clean thing which I'm not really into clean makeup I like my preservatives okay it says let me read this it says what does green edition mean here are our pillars uh, 84 percent natural origin ingredients vegan formula clean formula glass bottle made with 20 percent recycled material well that part's nice but yeah I, I, I don't need it just yeah, I like my preservatives because it lasts longer. But I got two shades. $1.25. This stuff was like, I don't know, upwards. Almost 20 bucks. Um, so I got 80. It's a skin tint. I like the other Maybelline skin tint. Um, I know Maybelline stuff tends to run orange. I got 80 and then I got 60, which is a bit lighter. So we will play with those and see. Hang on. Hang on. But love when you see like name brand popular things discounted. Look at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see which one works. 
but yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but we got 80 and 60. These are the two. You can kind of see from the labels the difference. Glass bottles have that. If it's your favorite thing, if you like this when it came out, the Dollar Tree has a bunch of them. My Dollar Tree had a bunch of shades, even light, super light. They seem to have most of the range. They seem to have that. Whew! Alright, where are we? Do you want to do Ulta? Well, this... Well, wait, no! Dollar Tree. Two more things from Dollar Tree. Two more things from Dollar Tree. The Ioni Chubby Sticks. Um, I just didn't realize... Okay, this is a lip. <laughs> I didn't realize this. Um... This is says lip liner and lipstick. This is a chubby pencil. It's fine. I got it because I thought it was an eye thing. But it's in this plum shade. Let's swatch it. It's called plum. Uh -huh, that's funny. It's called plum. This is a chubby stick. Nothing against these chubby like lip liner sticks. Oh, it's matte. That's that's pretty. It's a pretty tone. Um, I thought it was for eyes. I don't know. But Ioni Cosmetics, I want them to come out with complexion products so bad. I feel like it's inevitable. I feel like they are taking over the Dollar Tree. They have, um, and eyeshadows. They have brow kits. They have mascaras. They have lashes and lash glue, of course. They have blushes. They have lip products. We're waiting for the complexion products. Like, I, I really, I really think that's next. And I'm going to try them all. So this chubby stick says... Primer, highlighter, eyeliner, eyeshadow. And I love the tone. I think it would be a good inner highlight situation. Brow bone highlight. That's why I picked it up. Um, it is in the shade. It just says Lumos Highlight. So let's open that up. These are sharpened. Oh, yeah. It's like a champagne gold. It's a lighter champagne. Like an icy, the golden undertone. Uh-huh. 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 So I'm excited about that. I probably wouldn't be looking at it. Perfect for inner corner. Don't know about brow highlight depending on the look. So let's get into Ulta. Let's get into Ulta first. Um, if you guys watch my vlog, I went to Ulta to look for some things so we can talk about the obvious um, that I just said. I have some... some not concealer. Serums. Had to pick up another one of my niacinamides from Good Molecules as well as my daily brightening serum from Good Molecules. So we have that. I do not have a skincare inventory, so these can just be out. Um, cool. Alrighty. I picked up two lip liners because I realized I do have my favorite lip liner from um, Ur uh, not Urban Decay, NYX is the Line Loud in Rebel Kind but I do want a deeper brown and every time I have a whole thing of lip liners it just seems like I don't have a super deep brown I don't have a good brown um, that I'm looking for and Rebel Kind is great and NYX Line Loud actually makes deeper liners um, and every time I'm in Ulta whatever I just never look for them but I went back to the OG lip liners from NYX just like the sharpenable pen like the the classic and I picked up two I cannot get this plastic off I got espresso and brown deep brown lip liners because I need them these are five dollars I picked them up I want them <laughs> okay so foundation was ten times points I wanted to try this foundation. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. It says up to 24 hour wear, 3% niacinamide, can't fill coverage, very lightweight, all this type of stuff. So I picked this up. I did get matched in store. Um, I like match myself and then I have someone now that I'm at Ulta. Like when I'm at Ulta, I've been doing that because like I'm not the best at matching myself all the time. Like you guys have seen me go through foundations too, like too dark, whatever. So we came up with 31 medium deep warm golden, like literally disappeared on my skin. Um, so I'm going to play with this upcoming. Oh, pops off. It's a little squeezy bottle. Um, I'm really excited to play with this. $40. I know. I know. I can't complain about this. This is my hobby. I choose to do it. Um, but then I also, I was thinking about this for a while. I have not worn this in so long. And it, it's going to take you back. I bought the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I did. 
Um, it, I think it's been reformulated. I don't know. It says wear is up to 12 hours, normal to oily skin. It's a foundation. $10. It was $10.99. It used to be $5.99. I do know that Matt and Portis, I used to, Urban Decay Fit I Me, mean, Maybelline Fit Me, I'm all over the place. Maybelline Fit Me used to be a lot cheaper than this. That's all I'm going to say. But I got the Matt and Portis because I do. It takes me back and I want to play with it now in 2024. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Ooh, I talked about this in my get ready with me today because I was not in the best mental state when I got ready. It was just one of those days where I just wasn't okay. And I, alcohol has helped. Um, I drank some wine. But like, eh, I'm still like, eh, ready to take all my makeup off and curl on the couch. But I wanted to say, um, where was I going with that? In that get ready with me, I mentioned something and I literally it just fell out of my brain. Um, I don't know fell out of my brain but anyway uh, <laughs> um fell out of my head I've been wanting to try this this was in my Ulta cart these are the Revlon color stay limitless matte lipsticks I bought one because the Revlon color stay those inks oh you guys know those are like my favorite bullet lipsticks I love a matte almost dry matte type of lipstick I still love that look I do and I have to stop like I don't apologize for it but like so I still like 2016 makeup. I still like 2016 brows. I know 2016, I mean that era. I know like the years surrounding it on both ends. I do know, you know, it gets a lot of, I don't want to say hate, but a lot of like, let's laugh at ourselves. Like we were into that. Like we looked crazy with that full coverage matte look. And I'm just not a part of that vibe. I love that makeup. I love the drama of the cut creases. I love that. The brows, the thick 2016 brows. Like, yeah, we find better ways to achieve it, better products to use, but I love it. And uh, the matte liquid lipsticks, the super, bo I appreciate a glossy lip. I'm into the balms too, but like a go-to look, I need longevity it was 84 degrees, 84 degrees today, pushing 90, and, you know, and I went for a full coverage matte look and that's where we are like I just love it and I will never be part of that crowd but anyway color stay limitless matte liquid lipstick so I love those suede ink bullets and so I was like they're liquid lipstick hopefully it's just as good I got one shade and it's called real deal let's open it up I think it's a good middle of the road shade it's not too deep it's not like super bright or anything like that more of a mauve Mavi nude and so we're going to play with that okay liquid lip and then I got I found well then we're hard to find the NYX buttermelt blushes okay um I got two shades because um these were like the deepest or you know around the deepest what I wanted to try I picked up like I said two shades let's do it back and back and butter I do own the bronzer and I do like the buttermilk bro oh it's probably broke it's broke it's not broke it's not broke uh this is called back and butter I don't even want to swatch it yet back and butter I don't want to swatch it I don't want to swatch it and then uh butter than before Hang on. Come on. All right. This is back in butter, and this is butter than before. So excited. So excited for those. So that was all time. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't swatch those, but I don't want to swatch them yet for some reason. I've had a lot of wine. Just. Just a, just just vibe with me. Vibe. Okay. So that's Ulta. Again, I gotta put all that in my inventory. And then Sephora. I'm so excited. Let's open that. I haven't even really opened this stuff up since I got home. I wanted to put it in my inventory. Because that's the rule. But I look cute today, so I wanted to film this today. We got a bit of things in here. Let's do my points. 
I used some points. Also, Sephora's point thing is a joke, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. These were all a hundred points a piece. And they're minis. So the first mini I picked up was the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I will say I had a sample size of the Tatcha Primer and I liked that, but like I just couldn't justify spending. Like I don't own anything non-sample size <laughs> from Tatcha. So this was a hundred points. And I do like minis, you guys know. Let me open this up. I will spend my points on minis. That's that's about as far as it goes. So this is the skin cream. Very cute. Let me know if you use this. Should I just play? The thing is, I'll use these kind of things for travel. Because let's say I play with this every day. Like, I just put this in the rotation of skincare and use it till it's gone and see how I feel about it. What if I love it? Now I gotta buy this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I wait. I wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Um, and then another skin product. I, got, I really want to try Drunk, Evelyn's pro Drunk Elephant's products. I, I very, what makes them unattractive to me is I, okay, I love that they have like that minis kit. It's like 75 bucks, but like the minis kit to try all their skincare. And like, I'm not super opposed to high end skincare, more expensive king skincare. I try to lean towards drugstore prices, but come on, I like belief that moisturizer is like $38. Like, I do like it, and I, if it works, it works. But I do not like the reputation that Drunk Elephant has with kids. I just, it, it, it makes me feel a little bit weird knowing that like Drunk Elephant is a brand, like serious skincare, serious skincare, but like it, now when I hear it, it's associated with all the kids in Sephora wanting it and like, I don't know. I don't know. But I got this sample of their Glycolic Night Serum. I love the packaging. I love the white and then a bright. I do. I love, I know why that's attractive to children as well, but like, I love that. Um, so for hundred points, I got the Night Serum, a mini of that. Uh, and then also a mini. This is the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint Chrome Liquid Metallic Eye Color. Does it have the shade name on it? Rose Gold. So let's open that up. I have a lot of Sephora points and whatever. I like minis, so. This is what it looks like. I thought it was a lip gloss. It's like, no, it's an eyeshadow. Ooh. Oh, it's creamy and pretty. That was a lot. You're gonna use you're gonna have this for a while. That was a lot. I didn't realize that was gonna come out. Ooh, yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Alright, hmm, hmm. Mama. Just hopped on the thing. Okay, next. Now, things I actually bought. I have four things in here. Let's go with the skincare first. I saw this online $24. So, Laneige! Laneige came out with a new water sleeping mask. I love that stuff. I have not bought it. I finally used my last one. Or. Yeah, I finished my last one, and I have two or three backups of the Belief one. They're a night sleeping mask because I got it during, like, 21 Days of Beauty, and I have one that I'm finishing up from... Shoot, what's that brave? Freeman, I think? Mama, what's going on? Freeman, so, like, it, it can't justify buying the Laneige one yet. I will purchase it again. But then I... And they came out with a new one. And so, for $24, you get the water sleeping mask, you get the original water sleeping mask, a sample of the new one that they have, it's like a plumping one, and then you get a little mini of their Laneige, the lip mask, which I have so many of those because they, huh, thought I heard something, because they give, like, so, oh, it's a glass bottle too, so the, it, the new one is called Bouncy and Firm Sleeping Mask, so we have a small glass bottle of this. You're going to get, for sure, a couple weeks out of it. Definitely. Um, 24 bucks for this. I will say Laneige's sample sets and kits are reasonably priced. Along with Beliefs, actually. And then we get the Water Sleeping Mask, the original. And then you get a mini, a micro of the uh, lip, the lip mask. 
Um, so I'm super excited to try that and have it in the samples there. So yeah, for 24 bucks you get that. Uh, the Dream Team Trio. But I'm definitely going to... Once I work through some more, once I work through some more, the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, I love that stuff. And it's always going to be in the rotation or not far from it, so. Alright, friends, almost done. I picked up one of the new Rare Beauty blushes. This is the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. So I have the Soft Pinch. Actually, I'm wearing it today. Where is it? I am wearing it today. The Rare Beauty uh, highlighter. Um, the so I don't know if it's called Soft Pinch, but like in this packaging, I'm wearing one of the highlighters. She came out with new shades of the highlighter as well, and then she came out with these blushes. They were very similar in terms of feel and results, like when I swatched them. Like, I feel like you could wear the blushes as highlighter. Um, so I just started with this one, and it's the shade Love. So... Slide it out. Got a lot going on. Oh, oh. That's kind of bougie. Comes out like this. It's in a bag. Kind of bougie. Here is the blush packaging and here's the highlighter packaging. This is shiny. This is matte. And it's a lighter in tone. This is more pink. Oh, it's gorgeous. Again, this is the shade Love. Swatch and they oh my god they feel so good and it has yeah it could be a highlighter like I don't think you need to release blush and highlighter just bring out these glowy shades and call them like highlighter blush I don't know blush lighter I don't know but like I don't think you needed both because it's definitely giving the same vibe from both products okay very very happy for her though very exciting very excited. There's a lot of shades I like. But I was like, let me try the formula and we'll get back into them later. I am super excited about this purchase. So, you guys know, if you watch my videos, I really enjoy this pink powder from One Size. Um, I have their deep powder, like for my skin tone. I have that in a mini. Used it almost up. Love that as well. Um, love the formula of this powder. This is like the deepest pink powder that I own. Um, a lot of the other pink powders are like light, super light, but this one I think caters to my skin. It looks great. And he released, Patrick Starr released more shades of the ultimate setting powder and I'm super excited I have marigold and rich peach so I was thinking about getting I had marigold and then it was what was it called a lighter a lighter one I can't really think of what it was called but I lean towards the deeper end I'm thinking about getting a full size of his deep powder as well but anyway um so let's look at Marigold. Oh, I was trying to figure out which like banana themed powder I should get. And the girls before we were talking about it and we was like, go with the deeper one. It's not a super difference in the Marigold and in the original. So this is how deep it is. This is the Marigold. That's a deep yellow. This reminds me of the Sasha Buttercup powder that you can find on Amazon. So, so excited. So excited. And then he came out with Rich Peach. So, I'm going to tell you something. I was really, like, really contemplating, you know, who that came out with a peach powder. Uh, you know, she has the cherry blossom one. But who that came out with a peach. And looking at the descriptions, I'm like, I, I want to try a peach powder. That might be something. Give it a little correcting action, brightening action all in one. But looking at her peach tone and, like, reading the description, it was for light skin tones. It was for light to medium, and I'm like, it might not work. And then Patrick drops this rich peach. So I scooped it up. I'm here for it. I am here for this rich peach. I'm here for it. I'm here for I love the packaging of these I will say I think I've talked about this if you are someone that needs like dexterity like have dexterity issues and grip issues it's very slick and slippery very easy to drop um, it's very easy to lose grip on 
Um, but for me, I don't have those issues. And so I just it just feels very luxurious to me. And I really like the way it feels. But um, yeah. That's what we have. And that's my beauty haul. I think I don't think I missed anything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This makeup room is a mess, but I'm so looking forward to it. To cleaning it and organizing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.